Welcome to another video guys, so um, I'm going to start a series of videos uh, about gear maintenance and gear repair. So if you're someone like me who likes to practice bushcraft on a regular basis and go outdoors and you know have adventures then equipment's going to be a key factor of that. Now here I've got the first video that I'm going to show you which is going to be about repairing my top because this is a common bit of gear that goes through a bit of a beating and it has a, a bit of damage from time to time it could get snagged on trees or it just wears out after a while so i'm going to do a repair video on this tarp now just to kind of show you the brand of tarp i have now i'm not a channel that does reviews by all means but i've had this tarp since around 2008 2009 this is the highlander uh, military basher and it's in dpm and normally i don't deal with DPM, um, you know, items. In my early days, I used to have a lot of army surplus, but some stuff like DPM is something I don't normally like. But I do like this particular basher because it's lightweight, and it's also um, it's good for if I'm doing any stealth camping, which I've done in the past, uh, and it's just nice and light and easy to carry. So it needs a bit of TLC, that's for sure. And let me show you what's required to be done on this. So the last time I took this out, so I'm gonna turn it over, I noticed it had gone through a bit of uh, wear on the seam seals. So you can see here, there's the tape, the seaming tape that normally keeps the seams waterproof. It seems to be coming off, as you can see there. So like, for example, this one I can pull off completely. Okay, and that's happening on all the sealed areas of this tarp. So you can see there in the main body of the tarp, the main seam, it's happening everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking this stuff off and then I'm going to be applying some new seam seal tape on there. And I'm going to show you the process of doing that and how to do it safely without damaging the, the basher itself. Okay. Sometimes it's required, guys. I mean, this tape has been on here since, like I say, around 2008, 2009. I can't remember the exact year. Okay, so it served me well. It just needs a bit of TLC. And most people would see that as a problem and throw the product out when actually it's not, still got plenty of life in it. All it needs is just another line of tape. And this, this one's already come off here, so I need to put another line on there. Okay, and hopefully I should have enough here to be able to do the entire thing of where the seams are. And this is good for doing on your waterproof jackets, your clothing, your trousers, your tents, or even other tops and bashers. So doing this will preserve the item for a lot longer and hopefully it'll serve me for many more years after I've done it. So without further ado, let me get set up and then we're gonna look at the first step. Okay, so for this repair, you're gonna need a few things. So the first thing, is some baking paper okay we're going to use this to put on top while we press the iron on the seal tape okay now you've got to bear in mind this material here is like a ripstop nylon it can melt so it's important that we be careful there we're also going to need a set of scissors so i'm going to use the scissors on my swiss army knife and then obviously the all-important iron and then as well as the seam seal tape, the replacement tape. Your first step is to take off the old stuff. So we're going to demonstrate on a little patch here, okay, because that'd be great for the video. And then also I'm going to carry on doing the rest of the basher. And I'm going to take you through the entire process and show you the end result afterwards. So first step is to take off the old tape. So if it was stuck there, just pick off whatever you can. So in this case here, Got some more and it's best to do it as you go along that way you don't forget what space is needed this treatment to it okay so we'll take that one off there so you can see there was one strip there one strip going all the way along the tape that i got should be the same thickness which it is so let's take this out of the packet so it should be the same thickness which it is so this would be ideal to replace and you're just cutting the bits that you need 
and then you press it with the iron okay so what i'm going to do now is uh show you how to prepare this stuff if it's dirty and it's got debris then you'll need to clean it but in this case in this particular section it's still clean okay so that's the old stuff we're going to discard that now Okay, you could keep them bits and measure it as a point of reference, but I don't think it's needed. I don't think they did anyways when we, when we bought this uh, particular item. <clears throat> and you just take the tape there. You want it so it's like cellar tape, so it doesn't stick, obviously it's not tacky. You stick it in the direction that you've been peeling it at, so this part should be on the outside of the top and this part will be on the inside but I don't think that matters too much if you get stubborn areas that you can't pick off you can put this on top okay so I've heard anyways so first things first let's cut a piece off like that so that's the tag off the actual tape itself put that to the side there I'm going to measure just eyeballing how much I'm going to need so I'm going to go all the way across here for this center piece I'm going to cut that piece there like that okay so next step is to get my iron prepared so I'm going to get that heated up and I'm going to show you the next step after that okay so next step now the iron's been heating up for a few minutes now the light's gone off so it means it's ready to use it's important that you set your light iron to a very low setting okay and be careful not to touch the top itself because it could melt so what we want to do that's what the purpose of this baking pot is for okay is we want to be iron on top of this and it's literally seconds guys it's not going to take long so in the position I take now there's a bit of webbing behind this as well so it's one of the loops that you know go on your top itself and position that there and just get a st stuck point to where it needs to be you don't want it to move around underneath the tape okay and you want things to stay flat to about there as you can see take your iron carefully I'll do this while I'm in shot as well Carefully, just give it a little press. Don't want to be too much too soon. So little intervals, little strokes. And what you'll find, seam tape will go clear. I find pushing away from where you go in works out really well again I'm trying to be conscious about not getting the iron to touch and you can see there how it's going to clear the difference between the two so this could still do a bit more but that's stuck, stuck it in place now so now I can do the rest so I'm going to go there best to start with a low setting on your iron you can always turn it up okay but if you have it high too soon what will happen is you might melt your top okay let's take your time don't get a bit too ambitious too soon there we go just count the four rules five seconds at a time like that can you see what I'm doing here so one two three four five taking it off taking time makes it a little bit process but it's worth it okay Let's check the work see how that looks okay now I could probably get away with turning this up a little bit okay so I'm just turning up my iron just a little notch not too much so I'm going to melt my top, let that heat itself up, and carry on. I'm 
you want to make sure you got all the edges, the corners. I'm lifting my iron up a little bit, so I'm only using that part of the iron at this stage. So it might look like I'm on there for a long time, but I'm not. The baking paper creates a, creates a great barrier, barrier, so it just transfers the heat without melting the tarp itself. Okay, let's put that aside. And there you have it. So you can see there, it's still gonna be a little bit on the wet side. Okay, let that cool down. And that is putting new seam seal tape all along here. Little crack there, so I can fix that though. You can put more on top, so when you put it, you can put more overlapping if you need to but in this case I'm happy with how that's turned out okay guys what I'm going to do I'm going to do the rest of the edges on this piece so you can see what I've done there and there we go guys that is that patch done now you can see there I've stuck it along the top of that seam, down that seam, along there, and through the, through the middle where the stitching's been placed. That's as good as you, good as new now, so I'll let that cool down before I move it. But to give you some idea of what it looked like before, so this is where one of the webbing tabs are for my tarp. Let's find it, so I'm gonna find another spot. Let's see what it's like before getting all coming apart there now I didn't put this stuff on this is what how it came when we purchased the product so it's lasted what say two let's say 2008 so what would be that then nearly 15 years or so so this shows you it is good stuff you know it does last well you could paint the seams you know with like an adhesive that like some people do do but this is obviously staying true to its original design how it came and that's all it needs there. Now I'm sure there's probably better quality tape I could use. I, I got mine from Amazon and while there I'll put a link in the bottom or into the description of where you can get that tape. It's not expensive, it's about 10 pounds or so. And you get plenty enough to cover your entire basher. So I've done this part here. Okay, I'm gonna now do the rest of the basher because you can see it's everywhere guys. I'm gonna bore you with the ironing process of this stuff, okay? But obviously I'd have to take that off first and then replace it. Okay guys, so I'll show you the end result once it's done. Okay, it's a little update. So you can see how it's all stuck down now on this uh, long seam here. Certain spots you have to obviously tape the seam. I'm not too bothered about neatness as long as it's waterproof. I've got to do another length all the way across this basher on this part here where it all joins up so there's a seam there i've taken the seam off what i find is take the seams off as you're replacing them so therefore you know exactly where you need to replace the seam if you take them off you might miss things so like here you need to have another bit of tape there along with the long seam going along so it's quite time consuming it doesn't take too long but it's time consuming but it'd be worth it because then you just pretty much put new life into your basher so i'll check in again when i'm pretty much done okay so that's it finished so you can see the patch that i started before where the um the webbing loop is on the other side that's the seam that sells that into place i've also done the entire length including the ends Seam sealed all the way across. You can see there. And the other part of it 
which was just that. You can see the old stuff's on the floor here. Let me pick some of that up so you can see it. That's the old stuff. Comparison is all dirty and worn. It's lasted about 15 years. So if I get more than a decade from that stuff, then great. Yeah, I may be happy with that. Now, I've got um, plenty of tape left over for future repairs. So there's plenty there to do this entire project for your basher. You can do this on your DD tarps, your Highlander bashers like I've got here, um, any other tarps that you've got, or tents, as I said before. So definitely worth doing and preserving your equipment. Uh, we, are in, we do live in a throwaway society, so doing something like this, you know, stops you having to pay for more gear that you don't need and obviously preserve the stuff that you've got and you've been using for years. So that's all I need to do. It took me less than an hour uh, to say, and obviously I was taking my time with this. Uh, you could probably get it done in about half an hour to 45 minutes um, if you've not been doing it quite often. So yeah, I'm pretty uh, happy with that. So the proof will be when I take it out, the, the ultimate test is when I take it out for another camp out. And if it keeps me drive, uh, dry, then that's all that matters. And the good thing about this stuff is if you do get tears, so because this is ripped up, you can patch it, put a little patch over it. Okay, and then seems to like, just like we've done here. Obviously you'll be left with loads of patches everywhere, but hey, the ulti ultimately what it's for is to keep you dry, right? So there we go. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a little like and a little subscribe if you enjoyed this and find this useful. Uh, get out and repair your kit rather than uh, throwing it away. I'm going to pack this now into its uh, little bag there. And uh, yeah, it'll be in storage until the next time I go out, which shouldn't be too long soon. Okay, take care guys. Bye-bye. Thank you.